Welcome back to Sri Lanka. Last episode, we smelled the dead fish at the Nagambu fish market. We experienced Sri Lankan culture in the city of Anuradhapuri. And we hopped on a small canoe and paddled our way up a stream to a village in Hariwaduna Lake. We begin this episode with a two-hour hike up the mighty Sagiria Fortress Rock. Sagiria Lion Rock is an ancient rock fortress known for its massive column of rock that reaches nearly 200 meters high. The site dates back to the reign of King Kasapa, 477 to 495 AD, who chose this site as his new capital. He decorated the walls with frescoes and built an impressive palace right on top of the rock column, accessible only through the mouth of an enormous carved lion. The operating hours are from 6.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. We get there at 7 in the morning. It'll take you approximately two hours to climb Sigeria Rock. The first stage of your climb is in the fountain gardens and up the boulder gardens. There are just a few steps that are easy to climb. There are two massive brick stairways leading up through several terraces to the zigzag staircase. This was one of my favorite areas of the climb. Next, you'll enter the mouth of enormous carved lion. This is the most difficult part of the climb and may give you jelly knees and vertigo as you climb up narrow steel gantry on an exposed side of the rock to the summit. If you look below, you will see the grooves carved into the rock surface by an ancient builders to provide the footing for the original staircase. <laughs> you have finally made it. You are now on top of Sigeria Rock. Look around you and marvel at the magnitude of the ruins, the sky palace around you. Imagine how ancient workers built this structure. They too would have had to climb this massive rock to construct a sky palace worthy of their king. The capital and the royal palace were abandoned after the king's death. It was used as a Buddhist monastery until the 14th century. Sagiria today is a UNESCO listed World Heritage Site. It is one of the best preserved examples of ancient urban planning. This was definitely one of the best highlights of our trip and we highly recommend visiting Sigeria. We even got to see a snake charmer at the end of our hike. Sigeria. Its beauty will leave an everlasting impression. And now it's time to leave this wonderful place and head east to the small town of Hingurigota. Once again, we were set free to marvel the natural beauty of Sri Lanka and her people. We met a wonderful family and the daughter nervously treated us to a sample of her talents. She's only been playing for a couple months. Thank you for inviting us into your home. It was time to see the countryside of Sri Lanka in a different perspective, by bicycle. This was a great way to experience Sri Lanka differently, allowing us the freedom to stop whenever and wherever. We spotted a few water monitors along the side of the river. We even got a chance to get close to the giant lizard and feed him a small snack. The bite of a water monitor can inflict a severe injury and was once described as being worse than that of a rattlesnake. Brave as I may be, we were done entertaining the large beast and headed onward. We hopped back in the car and ventured down the wild roads towards Dambula home of the largest and best preserved cave temple complex of Sri Lanka. Located in central Sri Lanka, the Dambula Cave Temple is a living Buddhist site that is focused on a series of five cave shrines, inhabited by forest-dwelling Buddhist monks since the 3rd century BCE 
These natural caves have been transformed continuously throughout the historical period into one of the largest and most outstanding Buddhist complexes in the southern and southeastern Asian region. It's definitely a hike to get to the top of the mountain where the cave temples are located, but well worth the leg exercise. We're surrounded. Oh my goodness, yeah, they're everywhere. Curious monkeys guard the steps to the caves, keeping a watchful eye on you at all time, as you can see. Some like to show off their talent. Okay. Signing off for now. We survive the army of monkeys and make it to the top, where we are greeted by a beautiful doorway that opens up to the entrance of the cave system. Dambula Cave Temple represents the most impressive cave temple in Sri Lanka. It has five caves under a vast overhanging rock carved with a drip line to keep the interiors dry. To date, nearly 80 caves have been discovered in and around its boundaries, but five in particular are quite significant. These five caves are rather large and serve as the temple's main pathways, all depicting the temple's most major attraction, the retelling of the story of Gautama Buddha's life in various forms. The temple contains 153 Buddha statues. Since 1991, the Dambula Cave Temple has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Today, the Dambula Cave Monastery is still functional and remains the best preserved ancient edifice in Sri Lanka. We all love train rides, and this one is unique. See you next episode for the train ride of your life. And if you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to my channel and check out all my other videos.